Hello everybody, AZ Flyer here. And in this video, we are going to go through the process to set up elevons uh, for either a delta wing airplane or a flying wing. And we're gonna use a free wing Mirage 2000 as our plane to set up to show how to set up elevons. Uh, this particular airplane um, in many flying wings or uh, delta will have a full span uh, aileron elevator here at the back um, so it's it's one piece so it needs to be set up to operate as both elevators and ailerons uh, interesting um, tidbit the actual Mirage 2000 had flaps and ailerons but this model is, is a single piece so um, we're going to set that up as an elevon and so we're going to go through how to do that in the FR Sky X20S radio so let's go Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is set up a brand new airplane because there are some different configuration settings on the initial airplane creation menu uh, if the Delta or a flying wing, which you're going to see on a normal airplane. So we're going to go ahead and go to the model select. We're going to create a brand new airplane. So we're going to scroll down here and press our plus sign, to create an airplane. And then you just want a, an airplane, of course. And then here's where it starts to get different. Leave your engine channels for whatever it is, your, your number of your engine channels, that's, that's the same. When you get to the ailerons and the flaps and the tail is where we're gonna make some uh, very specific entries. So you're gonna want two channels for your ailerons and no flaps, okay? No ch two channels for ailerons, no flaps. And then when you get to your tail, we're gonna select none here. So select the none option for your tail. And that starts to tell the mixer that this is going to be a different configuration what, than what you normally see. So none on the tail. Now, of course, we can call it, we can name it whatever. We're going to call this Delta because it's going to be a Delta plane we're setting up. And, of course, we can make the picture whatever we want. We won't set a picture in here for right now. And then now we've got our, our airplane. So if we go to the mixer, we're going to see some different settings here. You're going to see ailerons, elevators, and throttle were created and and elevators and ailerons were both set to channels one and five. So we're gonna change that to channels one and two for both the ailerons and the elevators. So we're gonna go in and edit our ailerons. We're gonna scroll down here to the bottom and we're gonna set channel two as the output, channel for the second output. For output number two, we're gonna want uh, channel two. So now you see we have the output on one is channel one, output two is channel two. We're gonna do that for both of these, for both the elevator and the aileron. So for the elevator, then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna change this to two. But we're gonna say no here. Do we wanna swap? We're gonna say no to this one. All right? So Channels one and two are what our ailerons and elevators are set up to. So now we can see when I move my, my elevator, you can see I'm getting my throw here. When I go to my ailerons, you can see I'm getting a throw here. So my elevator, my ailerons seem to be working on my mix. You also see we have no rudder. So here, if you're gonna set up a Delta like on our Mirage 2000, you're gonna to wanna to add a rudder. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's hit the plus sign. We're gonna do a free mix. And we are gonna send it to the, to the last position. And we're gonna call this rudder. We just have to create this channel. Our source, when we tap the source, we're gonna move our rudder stick and you'll see it recognizes the rudder. So now we have a rudder working there, but we have to tell it what channel do we want it to go to. So if you're gonna use the conventional rudder you know, uh, configuration, we're gonna send it to channel four. So down at the very bottom, we're gonna tap output and come down here to channel four. And now we've got our rudder assigned to channel four. So now we have our main control surfaces, our ailerons, our elevators, our rudder, and our throttle. Of course, with the Mirage 2000, we're also gonna have landing gear. So let's go ahead and set up landing gear as well. Send us to the last position. Our active condition, I'm sorry, our source is gonna be our landing gear switch. And we're gonna send that down here to channel six. I'm gonna leave that on the, the standard configuration for FR Sky, which is six for landing gear. So now we've got our gear set up. 
We've got our ailerons, elevators, throttle, rudder, and we're ready to go. All right, we bound up our receiver, we installed the receiver in the aircraft and plugged in the battery. And now we're ready to test our control services to see if they're doing what we want them to do. So let's go ahead and start moving the aileron stick. Oh, we'll see that it's moving the elevators up and down. And if I pull the elevator back, that's moving the ailerons. So something needs to be inverted. So now here's where you just try a couple things. If this happens to you, um, just try one of the uh, reversing either the aileron channel one or aileron channel two. Um, one of them will fix that. So let's go over and try channel two. And if I tap on invert, now let's try it. We're gonna pull the elevator back. Now my elevators are working. And ailerons are working right as well. So that I'm going left, left, right, right, up, down. That seems to be working. If that didn't work for you, you can turn that back to normal, go over and try the other channel as well. It's um, just depending upon how your um, wiring is, is hooked up is what would determine which one of those. So it's really a, a trial and error on that, but one of those two should fix it. Now, if you've got to where you are, you, one is correct, but it's going opposite. For instance, say it's, it's working good like this, but as I roll, left, I'm getting right later on, then what you're gonna wanna do there is go to your mixer and turn your aileron down to negative 50% weight. Take your positive 50 and turn it to negative 50. So if I do that, that will reverse the throw. So if you're getting your configurations are correct, later on an elevator are working correctly, but you're getting an opposite, then you need to go into that that channel, aileron, and turn that positive 50 down to negative 50, and that will correct. Same thing for the elevator. If you're pulling back elevator, but you're getting down, just go to your elevator mix, turn your full weight down to negative 50%. Okay, and that's it. So remember, the secret is set up your airplane with two aileron channels, no flap channel, and you'll need to change your channels in your mixer to one and two for your ailerons and elevators and then go into each one and turn output two into channel two here. You'll go to default as channel one and five. You need to go through here and change your output to channel two uh, for output two for both aileron and elevator. And then changing your, your weights to negative if you're getting to throw the opposite direction. So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, throw uh, some questions in there. If you have questions, give me a like if, uh, you, if you like this video and you found it helpful. And otherwise, uh, happy and safe flying. Thanks for watching.